Welcome to another episode of Backed or Busted, the show where we find out if a campaign is worth backing or if it's completely busted and you should avoid it. My name is Rob McCallum, aka Rob McZob, and if you need help with your campaign or you have one out there that you think we should take a look at, email us at crowdfundingspectacular99 at gmail.com or visit us on Facebook. Today we're going to look at 100 Days of Oceans, Heroes of the Sea. It's on Kickstarter and uh-huh. it is a film. So let's jump over to Kickstarter right now and see what it's all about. All right, so as I mentioned, it's 100 Days of Ocean, Heroes of the Sea. It is a documentary about the heroes of the sea who offer solutions to solve our ocean's problems. Uh, They are looking for a goal of $111,299. Clearly, this is a conversion um, from 93,000 euros. And so far, they've got $27,000 of the 111 that they need. They have 83 backers and 17 days to go. Uh, let's take a look at the pitch video and see what we can learn about the project itself. The graphic is really nice there in terms of the thumbnail. I should note that a couple things. One, this is a first-time creator by York Hovest, uh, and it is a project that Kickstarter loves. So let's keep these things in mind as we go through the campaign today. But first, uh, the pitch video. Hi, guys. We have a serious problem with our ocean. I know you have heard about this, but let me tell you something. Okay, this place looks like paradise, but it's not what it seems to be if you have a closer look. For example, this piece of plastic shouldn't be here. It kills animals and it causes a huge damage in our sea. I'm traveling around the world since years to show you another perspective. Okay, climate change is real. Illegal fishing is happening every day. Plastic pollution all over the world is a serious issue of today. I really don't want my children to see all that. So what can we do? What can you do? Instead of waiting for more conference and debates, we should take action right now like these people who already do so. These are my heroes. And I knew that uh, to do something, I would have to take a more direct action approach. I think that having proof of everything that happens out in the ocean is very important because what happens out here, nobody gets to see it. If we don't document it, it doesn't get out there. These ones grow three to five millimeters a month. You'll notice that we've installed uh, this line here. That's to prevent boats from going in there and anchoring them, which is is a major, major issue for us, and yet they still manage to get in there sometimes. Got to go out there at least once a month to, to clean the nursery. It does feel like I'm chasing my own tail. Uh, but I think overall, more and more people notice the work and more and more people find themselves asking questions which is good they're asking why should we look after coral reefs what is that person doing there and i see that how the population is growing constantly Uh, so unless some people really make a very very big effort and that's not just a few people i mean a lot of people then it would be hard to catch up and reverse the cycle that we're into right now. Imagine all the scientists who work on that issue. Imagine activists on their mission. Sounds like a day. Let's do it. Forethinkers and visionaries who have found a way to solve these problems. We 
treat plastic like money. I'm David Katz, I'm founder of The Plastic Bank. We provide an opportunity for the world's poor to use plastic to pay for the things that are the most important elements of their lives. These are my real heroes. I am a photographer and I want this film documentary to be done, to spread it around the world. Therefore, I need your help. Please read my details below to get a better understanding of that project. Thank you very much. So there we have the uh, pitch video for 100 Days of Oceans, Heroes of the Sea. Just going to step through the video. Again, I'm going to point out first and foremost that this pitch video runs at 4 minutes and 24 seconds, which is really long for a crowdfunding video. You want to aim like half that and, and get to the guts really quickly. Uh, I'm just going to step through this. Um, the lighting isn't that great here. It's hard to see his eyes. Uh, he's a photographer. He should know a little bit better. Even if he just rotated a bit, he'd be a little bit more in the sun. Uh, again, this is me being nitpicky. Most of this video, unfortunately, isn't about the documentary that he's trying to, to sell you on. We just know that there's a problem uh, with humanity and their treatment of the oceans, and we need to stop it. But this doesn't tell me anything about the film. It just says that there's a problem. And moreover, it doesn't really say anything new that a hundred other documentaries have done or uh, tried to do or newspaper articles do. I don't know why this film needs to exist. It's not until we get past a bunch of overly dramatic music and, uh, I don't know, larger than life photography shots of ice falling and drone footage that we start getting into who some of these other people are, like this individual here. We get to interview some other people. We get to see some footage uh, about what's going on the dock. And, and suddenly it feels less like a pitch trailer or a pitch video for the campaign and more of an excerpt of the documentary itself with the filmmaker hoping to convince you by seeing a slice of what he's doing is enough to get behind it. I'm not saying that it isn't, and it might be enough for you, and clearly... He's managed to raise $27,000 plus, but he's a far cry from the $111,000 that he's looking for. And I should say that documentaries on, on Kickstarter uh, vary drastically in terms of scope. $112,000 isn't an unrealistic goal for, for a documentary, and clearly he's put a lot of effort into filming a bunch of stuff already and sharing it. So, I mean, that's pretty crucial. It's better than him just standing on the beach saying, we have a problem with our oceans and I want to make a documentary to, to showcase it he's he's done a lot of work it, it's clear and that number is you know very realistic in terms of what it costs to make these things um but the pitch video doesn't explain what we're going to see in the, in the film uh, we get why it's important but how is this film different and how is it going to pull me in and what is special about it there is some incredible photography stuff in it though like i said like underwater footage like this is great there's some drone footage um stuff like this is fantastic uh, there's a, obviously a diverse uh, set of cast and in, in, that are that's involved and he has lots of toys and stuff and he's and he's ready to shoot it and even shots like this are, are real fantastic now this is really hard to read because it's uh you know it's a it's a, it's a mask against the, the water in the background and it's just too there's too much black in the image that he's doing it on and it doesn't actually fade out you think it would fade out and there'd be a call to action or something but there isn't so this pitch video alone could be completely reworked to give people way better understanding about what the documentary is what the stakes are involved what the scope of the documentary is the timeline the people involved and why these people are, are, are the keys also i want to talk about the title very briefly 100 days of oceans i'm guessing we're going to be following this crew for 100 days but it's heroes of the sea now this is super nitpicky and this is probably a me thing but we're talking about oceans or are we talking about the sea because they're not synonymous they're very different uh ecosystems so i think you might want to revise your title there or consider it let's go through the body of the campaign first and i'm just going to quickly enlarge this because it looks like the font is really small uh about the documentary right away so i like that this is a nice header this is clear and easy to read this could even be a little bigger but you know this actually works right away uh, the quotes are backwards. Uh, I think that's just uh, a nationality thing compared to uh, where he is in Germany. Oh, he launched in Munich, Germany, as you can see from up here, and I'm, I'm in Canada. 
100 Days of Oceans, Heroes of the Sea, a documentary project with the problems of our oceans and the positive impact those people who could be our guiding lights on our way to solve them. Starting in 2017, we'll create a unique portrait of, the, of our most important ecosystem. Climate change and population are just two of the countless issues. There's an extra space here uh, that have a serious impact on marine and human life. The project will take us to places where the footprint of our modern civilization, civilization can't be ignored, but also where people have already chosen a new path, a path is the sustainability and protection. Our journey already took us to the Atlantic and Indian Ocean, together with Sea Shepherd. I don't know what that is. We fought against illegal fishing and helped Andrew Hewitt uh, cleaning his coral nurseries and destroyed reefs of the Andaman Sea. We documented the work of scientists. I'm just skimming through this now so you don't have to hear me read the whole thing. Okay, so this is where it's getting important. So this should be almost in a section of what we've done so far and then what we have left to do. In 2018, my team and I will visit different research stations and vessels in the Pacific Oceans and the Arctic regions to document the work of scientists and environmental organizations. Another one of our heroes is the CEO of Plastic Bank, David Katz, with his remarkable idea of solving global poverty with sustainable solution against plastic waste. Okay. These heroes of the sea create guiding lines that will help each of us find our own personal way to be a part of the solution by spreading the message we try to reach as many people as possible and show them we have and, and uh if they're to show them what we have already lost and what we're going to lose spelling mistakes they kill you every time there's no there's no reason for that that's sloppy if nothing changes soon this film documentation sh shall raise people's awareness and attention Probably apostrophe there. Uh, attention regarding one of our most urgent problems to be solved, the survival of our oceans. Uh, and then we have the German version here, which is fun. Some impressions uh, is meant to be an impulse to finally act and no longer stand aside just to watch. Okay, that that is obviously this kind of film. Why crowdfunding? This could be up a little bit earlier. Okay, so let's just talk about this, this uh, diatribe, this kind of manifesto or vision. It needs to be broken down. Uh, this still doesn't tell me what I'm going to see in the film. Uh, this is what we should see uh, over, you know, 90 minutes or two hours. This is what we expect to see. And some of that is a little alluded. It's it's alluded to here. We're going to visit basically different places and we're going to see the effect of, you know, our civilization on it and what we're doing to try to reverse it. Still would like to have a through line. Like, what is that one thing that connects all these different uh, people other than the ocean? Like, what what are you trying to say with your film? Like, what is your theme? I'm not getting a sense of that just yet. Why crowdfunding? To realize a project, we are looking for support of a, of a great community and financial support. We want to share our hero solutions to solve one of the world's urgent problems, and you can help us. There are many possibilities to support this project. You just have to choose one, be a part of it, and save the ocean. Okay, so I should also say here, if I'm picking on his English, that that's my fault because he's obviously from Germany. It might not be his... Uh, you know, mother tongue, so to speak. But if he's also going to put it in English, he should have somebody that is quite fluent in English look it over for him, so that it, it that it is right. So I'm not I'm not as upset about it because he is providing both German and, and English translations. He is prioritizing the English one because he knows Kickstarter is a worldwide uh, entity. It just could be a little bit uh, more refined and polished. You never you never want to miss that chance. Our 110,000 goal would be needed to complete this documentation and let it become a guiding line for everybody who wants guiding line, guiding, okay, I guess that's an oceanic term, a guiding line, maybe a guiding light for everybody who wants to take part in the rescue of our oceans. With your help, we'll be able to reach a global audience and provide professional documentation for you, your friends and family, everywhere, open ears and So here's where we're going to spend the budget. I'm always split on whether you show how a budget is being spent, but if you're going to do it, a graphic always helps. Visas around the world. Permit center, special nature reserves, okay. The cutting crew work on material to create 100 days of ocean. The media license agreements to get the right music for documentation. Expenses for sustainable journey to reach our documentation and travel to our world. Any costs associated with managing and releasing the footage post broadcast or transmission. If we hit the target, it's game on. We've got 45 days to get this done, so please share wide and far. So a lot of places we need to travel to. For 2018, we plan these ones so again this could be part of that where we are and what we're doing next and then we get the german version about me if you get a once in a lifetime chance to see the world's problems from another perspective it would definitely change your way of thinking okay this isn't bad it could be worked into the vision up front um i don't know that it does much this far down doesn't do much for me uh i've already made up most of my mind about this project already 
Uh, so if, if it's more important, if, if you are so integral to this, this needs to come first. And also this font looks like it's a little fuzzy here. Let's keep scrolling. So here's the team. You can see them here. Here are the bios. This does nothing for me. Okay, here are the rewards. We'll get to those in a second. I will say that I do like these images here. I think that really helps visualize. So well done on creating those uh, mockups. I would like to find a better way to prioritize the space for these though, or maybe only uh, showcase a few of them that need assistance and understanding. So like a digital film, we don't, first of all, you're showing a DVD of the digital film. So you probably don't need to do that. There's a big space here that we could eliminate and you probably don't need to showcase this. People know what that's going to be. A postcard, maybe you want to showcase that. This you definitely want to showcase or, or this like in tandem, but you don't need to showcase all of these. I don't think. Risk and challenges. We will have to face numerous challenges, but there's absolutely no doubt we will master each and every single one of them from getting caught by fishing nets and heavy sea conditions to being trapped by a swarm of poisonous jellyfish. Face-to-face -face situations, the biggest marine animals and cold, ice cold water of the Arctic Sea. No matter what will happen, we will document the destruction that humanity has already brought over our oceans. Months of training lies behind us, but we are aware of the unprecedented circumstances. Malfunction of cameras... And drones as well as flight delays and extremely bad weather conditions. All these might happen, but they will not prevent us from realizing this. Therefore, uh, we keep all security standards as high as possible. Okay, so basically, uh, yeah, I'm just saying, you know, anything can happen, especially when doing something in nature. Let's jump to the rewards. Pledge five euros or more. Thank you for your selfless support. Now you're in, carrying concerns about ocean, every single one of you counts, being a part of this project, you will get a special thanks for email and your name listed on our webpage. Probably could have done that for a dollar and got more uh, backers. And it would offset the two backers that you got. 15 heroes, uh, signed postcard and film. Let's rock this thing together, get one of our most beautiful shots out of the documentary as a postcard with personal greetings to stick on your fridge, plus early digital download of the film. Uh, I would rather just a download of the film and not have anything shipped to me or mailed to me personally. Um, it's way easier for you as well. So let's do that. Limited photo box plus the film. You're the best by choosing this reward. Receive my photo box with 25 individually designed Polaroids out of the film documentary plus early digital download of the film. Name on the webpage, limited photo box, film download for about 42 bucks. Hmm. 55 euros uh, while wow, you are unique like this special for you you like this special for you designed inside making a book receive exclusive impression of all the ups and downs my team had to face all around the globe a glimpse of behind the scenes so it's behind the scenes book and making a photo book film download and, and name on the page so there really isn't a lot between the the photo book and the behind the scenes book other than the kind of book that it is and maybe the length it's it's not that different to be honest and I'm not sure why this is limited it doesn't really say why it is limited it just is uh, $120 I am thrilled you are my hero with the story to receive the big 100 days of ocean coffee table book additionally you receive our making of book with exclusive background material both books will be signed and you get a film download so they aren't even releasing the film physically at all at least not at this point it's all about the books and the photography which I guess since the guy's a photographer that's his bread and butter and what he understands and what he values the most. But if this is a film, uh, this is, and he really wants to get it out there for people, I would be making a DVD and a Blu-ray as well as a digital. That way if people have that disc, they can lend it out to friends and get that word out there. Okay, so here we go. Supporter package plus credits plus times two books. This is a blast. Now you're part of it. Get your name included in the credits of the documentary as a supporter making of the photo book as well as illustrated copy book additionally you receive your personal copy signed of both books so basically your name in the credits of the film and two books coffee table making a photo book name on the web page meet me let's get together for dinner alone or together with your friends and we will have an inspiring evening get to know all about 100 days of oceans that's background on all the stories and adventures behind this project additional additional uh, additionally york will bring two signed copies of the book so this doesn't travel cost not included. So I don't know if he's coming to see me or if I have to go see him. That really doesn't uh, tell me much about that. So this is like super vague. Uh, and for, you know, a thousand euros, almost 1200 American that uh, I'm not a huge fan of that limited fine art print. Uh, 
again, $3,000. You know, choose your fine art uh, motive out of five and get your limited edition New York photographs printed on Al- Aludi Bond under acrylic glass. I'm not uh, that versed in uh, printing material, so you have to forgive me there. Plus the personal sign certificate number. Let's keep going. And there's only 50 of those. Uh, pledge 5,000 or more euros, almost 6,000 American. Multi uh, vision or vision show, an evening with me for you and your company. Join my 100 minute multi vision show about 100 Days of Ocean. Be part of this adventure. Let me draw you inside the beauty of the sea. Experience what it means to save our oceans. Get to know the work of our heroes of the sea and have your company's name in the credits of the film. So, this is like a sponsorship package almost. But it really doesn't offer that much more than anything else there. They're just putting a high price tag on it. $8,500 or $10,000. And they have a backer for this. So let's really look at this. Travel with your private expedition. Travel with me to an exclusive five-star sustainable resort on a remote island in the Andaman Sea for seven days. Visit one of the film locations. There's a spelling mistake here. They just need a space. And learn about the underwater photography. We will be guided by a dive instructor to the most beautiful locations. All food and accommodation and travel upon arrival in Thailand are included. Flights are not included. Dates and further details to be discussed at the conclusion of the Kickstarter campaign. So with this, you are uh, you don't even know when it's going to happen. And you still have to fly to Thailand. But once you get there, everything's covered. So just... Uh, not sure I'm loving that, but they do. He is looking for help here, which is nice. Um, he is looking for uh, passion band or music composers looking to find the right music and illustrator animated pictures could be a topping for a documentation. Reach out to us. So that's nice that you can reach out and be a part of it. So that's the rewards. Again, the big thing, give me a physical DVD, Blu-ray, uh, and just a digital option for the film. Because I think that will uh, hit a niche that a lot of people want because a lot of the other rewards here are much more photographic in nature. Nobody wants to pay for shipping on that stuff. So right away by just doing a digital version of the film, uh, even if you're worried about piracy, you also seem to be more concerned about word getting out about what's going on and galvanizing interest in in this problem at hand. So when, when that's the case, if you are really concerned about the interest, then you've got to understand that piracy actually might help the interest and your film could be famous for that reason alone. It, it'll come back to help you if, if that's the case. Um, but just, I think that's what you've got to consider. You're already offering digital downloads, so just make a separate reward tier, even just for $10. That, that would help for 10 euros. Let's take a look at KickTrack. So over here on KickTrack, I'll see if I can refresh it and see if it's updated. Uh, it's only trending towards 39% of the goal, and Kickstarter's all or nothing, so that would mean that they might not uh, make it, and then they wouldn't get any of the funding. Uh, they're only right now trending just a little below uh, 40,000 euros. Let's see their daily data. They got a ton of money day one. They got about 2,700 here, and then they've had you know, a couple hundred bucks each day, which is nice and respectable. Then they had a big chunk here of 5,200, and they had another big chunk here of 8,500. So that was probably that one pledge for that expedition, which is really nice here. Oh, sorry, I'm going to go to daily data and just go down here to the backers per day. So they had the most backers per day here, uh, which is normal, campaign of day launches, and then everything tapers off a little bit. They've only had a couple days where they've had no backers, so that's always nice to see that they always get at least one backer. Look at the projection. Wait a second. They didn't have any money here. Okay, so that that does make sense. I just wanted to make sure that everything was correlated between the number of backers and that there was money every day. Okay. Here's the projection. Uh, they are still possible on the very high end to get close to what they're doing, or at least at least the gap is very huge. And that's the gap is really big because of this spike here and this spike here. So it's trying to project where it is. The low is 47. The high is 91. They're looking for 93. So it it could do it if they get a couple more spikes. Uh, they're being generous here on KickTrack, suggesting what that could be. Here's the mini chart. Uh, we're going to just go back here. And there's no press at all for us to look at. So we can't even scroll down and, and see that. There's nothing there. They also haven't put any tags in here at all. We can suggest some tags, but they haven't uh, added any themselves. So I'm actually curious to see if on the hot list, which is a list on kick track of Kickstarter projects, if uh, if it's listed under documentary, film and documentary on the side, 
if it's listed on here at all. It is, so it's number 10, 24% um, of the goal. It doesn't say if it's gone up or down, it's just held flat here at number 10. So it is on the hot list, but it doesn't look like it's helped much. All right, we're gonna go over to updates, and we've got nothing except for it launched on December 13th. Frequently asked questions, there are none, there are no comments. The community, this will be interesting. Most of the backers are from Germany, so it, it really made sense that they did a lot of work in, uh, of their text to have, it in, to have it in German. That's usually something I would say avoid, commit to one language just to save space, but in this case, clearly it paid off. The individual is tapping into his close personal connection. You can see all the top cities, Munich being number one, all the way through here. The top six are all German towns here. One, two, three, four, four. okay, top five, six. And then we've got some US backers. Uh, clearly out of the 83 backers, we've got 51 from Germany. So this is more or less what I would call an international campaign. Uh, meaning it is, you know, it is getting its strength from outside North America, which is great. Uh, this is also a really nice stat to see. 66 of the backers are completely new, which means they're now familiar with the Kickstarter process and likely to maybe back or at least browse other projects. And only 17 are returning backers. That is, that is pretty great. So we have to make a choice. Is this campaign, am I going to back it or is it busted? Uh, right now, I think it is busted, and the reason is because there isn't a reward here just for a digital download. I think some of the information here in this campaign body isn't quite organized the way it is. I have no idea what the film is about. The campaign video itself, the pitch video, is uh, it's a little bit of a mess. It's more of like, here's an excerpt of the documentary. If uh, our, our creator here would have said, you know, this is what I want to do, our our oceans are, are falling apart because of this one thing. And I want to show the lengths in which, uh, you know, the heroes of the sea are going to solve it. Uh, and I want to show you a clip from the movie and then showcase, you know, a clip that kind of testifies to that theme. Plus, you know, here's why I need your help. So that's not in here. Uh, I'm not saying it's not worth backing, but right now it's just in a state where it's a little desperate. 17 days ago, 83 backers, the, the pledge goal, is really high for a first time uh, creator. I would have really liked to have seen him go for like $30,000 just to help a little bit and then do subsequent funding later. Not try to get it all done at once, but just, you know, chew off as much as you can, build that audience so the next time you come around, maybe you can do a little bit better. So officially right now, this project is busted. Uh, if you need help with your campaign, you can always reach out to me, Rob McCallum, at crowdfundingspectacular99 at gmail.com or on Twitter, at Rob McZob. Happy to highlight your project or consult with you or even help rework your project if it is live. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.